I will take as much of Rose's chanting as you'd like to give me, though, because it's a really wonderful thing. <laughs> I am so happily a husband, but hang right on. We have a really quick point of order I'd like to make. We've been collecting necessaries for the local homeless shelter. If you have any of those items that you'd like to bring them to room 13275 at the Palmer House, we will be delivering them tomorrow, if you don't mind dropping them off over there. Thank you for helping the homeless in Chicago. It is not politics as usual, it is politics as it should be. Hi, I'm Pat LaMarche. <laughs> I had the honor of running for vice president in 2004. To all of you that are here today, that were here back then, thank you. I had an incredible, incredible opportunity. <laughs> I got to travel this country and talk about the needs and issues that were plaguing our nation, and I got to do it with your names in front of me, behind me, around me, supporting me, picking me up, taking care of me. I'm just so happy for these two women because I know the hands that will cradle them for the next few months, and they're very fine, very supportive hands. For the new folks who are new since 2004, and maybe were brought here by these two women, welcome. We love having you. Some of you newcomers may have come just because you're sick of the body politic that has abrogated justice in our country and consequently around the world. Some of you may well have joined the Green Party as a reaction to being abandoned by political parties that you felt once represented you and that you now know do not. But I don't think that's where many of you came from. I think that the number of folks in this room that are here as a reaction to bad things is relatively small. <laughs> History has taught us that when folks get sick to death of something, they don't join something new, they go away. Very sadly, go away. 52% of this country has gone away from its duty of voting. But you are not the disengaged. You have ab not abandoned the political process. You have embraced new process. You are here because you found a political party that represents you and your country. You are here because you know that your voice will be amplified by these candidates that you have chosen here today. Your needs and concerns are their needs and their concerns. Candidates that have lived real American lives and can speak to real Americans' needs. I am so proud and honored to introduce our new vice presidential candidate. Our new VP is young, she's smart, she's savvy, she's the most important word I like, sassy, <laughs> and she's strong. She is a self-chosen leader and a self-defining woman, a champion for the rest of us who don't always know who we are or how to communicate what we want. Rosa's got an impressive history in just 35 years, this black Puerto Rican grassroots organizer, hip-hop activist, journalist, and entrepreneur has proven herself as a leader and creator for the hip-hop movement and beyond. The founder of, the know, of Know Thyself Promotions, Rosa has a degree from the University of Albany and a Master's of Professional Studies from Cornell University. She is committed to scholar activism and youth organizing. In 2001, she was a youth representative at the United Nations World Conference Against Racism in South Africa. And, I love this, in 2003, she was named by Red Eye Magazine as one of the top 50 hip-hop activists to look out for. <laughs> they better look out. Were they ever right? Look out for Rosa Clemente. She's running for vice president. <laughs> I've been studying her. And I've been reading her writing so that I could introduce her today. Rose is one incredible woman who truly leads by example. She can teach us all to believe in ourselves and believe that we have the right, the honor, and the duty to be ourselves. Rose's example of knowing yourself and empowering others is 
the only real recipe for political change and granting hope to those folks around the world and here at home that need hope most. Rosa Clemente isn't one of the 50 hip hop hardest, and I don't even have false teeth. <laughs> Rosa Clemente is, yes, good point. Uh, <laughs> Rosa Clemente isn't one of the 50 hip hop artists to look out for anymore. She's one of the 50 people in this world to look out for. Yeah. Our candidate once wrote, I'm quoting her before she gets to quote herself. Our candidate once wrote, to assert who I am is the most liberating and revolutionary thing I can ever do. So I have come to this conclusion, I am whatever I say I am. And it is our great good fortune that she now says she is the Green Party's vice presidential candidate. I give you Rosa Clemente.